hello everyone now that we have seen how we can create products purchase bills sales invoices let's see how you can create multiple unit of measurements and tag them to the single product in order to set this up let's go to settings now the first thing that you need to make sure is that the unit of measurements that you require are already created under unit of measurement tag if they are not you can simply click on add um and create the unit of measurement let's create one let's call it carton let's save this now in order to tag multiple unit of measurements the first thing that you need to do is create a um schema let's click on unit of measurement schema using this we define the relationship between one unit of measurement with the other for example one box equal to 100 pieces let's go ahead and do this let's click on add um let's call it carton to pieces the default um is basically the base unit of measurement that you tag to a particular product let's select pieces now you can start defining the conversion let's say we want to specify the relationship between one piece and one carton so let's say one carton is equal to 500 pieces you can add another conversion factor let's say we have one box equal to 100 pieces let's save this now you can use this unit of measurement schema for any product the condition is the default um for that product should be pieces let's see how we can do that let's go to products let's add a new product Call it water bottle. Let's clean the adjacent code. Let's go to inventory. Scroll down. First thing that you need to do is select the unit of measurement as you had defined at the UM schema. Now this has to be the default UM for this particular product scroll down we click on multiple um now, all the um schema that have the base um as pieces that's what you have selected here will be highlighted over here you can select from the drop down or create new um schema directly from here let's select this one let's also define the purchase and sales price now this price is going to be for the default um that is per piece price Let's specify the price as 30 rupees per pieces. Similarly, the sales price is also going to be per piece. Let's say 45 rupees. Let's save this. Now our product along with the multiple unit of measurements that we had just created has been already tagged. We can now use them in transactions. Let's go to purchase. Let's click on add new order. Let's select a contact. Let's add this product right away. Now the first thing that you will notice is that once you have selected a product that has a UM schema tagged to it, all the unit of measurements that are allowed are also available for selection on the drop down. Let's go to the quantity. Now you'll notice currently the default pieces has been selected click on drop down you can select carton or box if I click on one carton you will notice the conversion factor 500 pieces is auto populated and the unit price is also changed it basically multiplies the per unit price of piece into 500 if you select box this is changed to 100 pieces and this is multiplied by 100 so let's purchase one box let's save this Our order has been saved. Let's click on the order. Let's receive the goods. Let's receive it in the primary warehouse. Click on receive. 
the goods have been received. Let's look at the stock report. Let's go to reports, stock availability by warehouse. Let's search for the product. You will notice 100 pieces has been updated over here. Let's try and create a sales transaction now. Let's create an invoice. Select a customer. Let's select the same product. Now over here as well, you can either sell in pieces or boxes. The only condition is there should be sufficient quantity available that you're trying to invoice. You can sell one box or let's say I want to sell a few pieces. Now if you hover on this, you can see that the available stock is 100. Let's say I want to sell 40 pieces. You can save and close this. invoice has been created let's fulfill this that is generate a delivery order select direct fulfillment now I'm committing 40 pieces that is I'm dispatching them I click on fulfill and the stock has been dispatched now if you check the report let's go to products this time you will notice the remaining quantity is 60. Now this way you can create multiple UM schemas, define relationship between various unit of measurements, create orders and sell them. You can buy in boxes, sell in pieces or buy in cartons and sell in pieces.